Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Political experts weigh in on a critical of former President Donald Trump. Former President Trump's second impeachment trial ended in acquittal Saturday after the Senate fell 10 votes shy of the 67 needed to convict him of inciting the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. Although former President Trump was acquitted, Chris Jaldiri of St. Anselm College said the fact that there was a bipartisan vote speaks louder than the outcome of the unprecedented second impeachment. Galdieri pointed out more Republican senators voted to convict former President Trump on Saturday than during his last impeachment. Senator Mitt Romney, Republican from Utah, was the only Republican senator who voted yes at the first impeachment trial. But at the second trial, Romney was among seven Republicans who voted to convict. New Hampshire's two senators, Senator Maggie Hassan, a Democrat, and Senator Jean Shaheen, a Democrat, also voted guilty today. In a statement, Senator Shaheen wrote, The insertion at the Capitol was not an unprompted scram of violence. It was a planned attack by domestic terrorists who were edged on by President Trump's months long campaign of lies about voter fraud. Galdieri does not think this will be the last time Congress will bring up the January 6th insurrection. I don't think this is the end of it by any means. You still have criminal prosecutions of many of the people who attacked the Capitol that day, explained Galdieri. Congress has shown an interest in continuing to probe this. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.